So what's been happening? Well, we have a new leader. Rishi Sunak gets to work. Our new prime minister says he's going to fix the mistakes. He will be our third prime minister in two months. Can he convince the country that did not elect him? So? <laughs> How do people feel about Rishi replacing Liz? It's like choosing which bit of carrot you want to eat out of a pile of sea. Welcome to Britain. It is a buffet of vomit. <laughs> what a mess, man. We've had three prime ministers in seven weeks. We had the bullshitting baboon. <laughs> the talentless turtle. <laughs> and now we have a leader who's so awkward, Ian speeches like a broken robot. And I will work day in, day out to deliver for the British people. even wave like a human. I mean, what the hell is this? <laughs> well, if you think that's strange, did you hear about his childhood? Rishi Sunak ate pizza watching Baywatch on plastic blanket as a child. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> How horny was he? <laughs> As a teenager, he had to watch Baywatch on a plastic blanket. <laughs> Jesus. Just... <laughs> His poor parents. I'll be ready. Oh, God, it started. <laughs> Fetch his wang rag. <laughs> right, no wonder he can't wave properly. He nearly broke his hand. <laughs> Tugging in the 90s. Mind you, let's not muck around. His appointment is definitely a historic event. He will be the first British Asian to make it to number 10. It just shows how we are a multicultural nation, how everybody is accepted and included within our nation. Exactly. It's just a shame that Joe Biden can't pronounce his name. We've got news. <laughs> Rashid... <laughs> Rashid... Sanuk is now the Prime Minister. <laughs> Rashid Sanuk, it's not even close. <laughs> if he meets the ruler of Dubai, his head will explode. <laughs> Mind you, the British public weren't much better. Who are you a fan of for leader? Richie. Ricky Sunak. Ricky Sunak. Ricky Sunak. Ricky Sunak. Ricky Sunak. Rashi Sunak was it? Ricky Nicky Nuno, some bullets. <laughs> Ricky Rada, Ricky, right, Roo Ra, right, Ricky, Ricky the go, dick a licker, Roo Ra, Roo Ra, dick dick and bum boo. Hey! <laughs> Why are some people so hopeless with names? It's like when Chelsea signed Caesar Aspilaqueta. Did the fans learn to say his name properly? Nope. They called him Dave. <laughs> Rishi Sunak. It's not tough. If he was called Shaborn Chihuahua, I get it. <laughs> but he's not. And that's a real shame. <laughs> French Chihuahua's Matt, you know what I mean? But it's not just his name. Judging by this sand sculpture, some people don't know what he looks like. Like, how... <laughs> how is that Rishi? It looks nothing like him. It looks like Tony Blair on a fucking dartboard. <laughs> Mind you, it's better than the one they did at Boris Johnson. Talking of which, did you see the leadership race? There was a moment when it looked like he might be coming back. Some people lost their minds. Bring back Boris. Bring back Boris. Bring back Boris. Bring back Boris. They put a crazy fool back in. <laughs> 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 I mean, one man was so convinced Boris Johnson would return as PM after spotting his face in a chicken corner. <laughs> Do you want to see it? Yes! Enjoy. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> and that is why you don't eat curry when you're on acid. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the photo that Boris released to show that he was ready for action? It's phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his eyes! <laughs> it's like he's just been cavity searched and that's the thumb they used to crack him open. <laughs> Now, luckily, we didn't end up with Boris. 
We've got Rishi. So what do people think of him? Well, a survey asked the public to sum him up in a single word. Rich is the overwhelming word alongside capable, OK, good and clever. But if you look a little bit closer, you'll find the words smarmy, privileged and greedy cunt. <laughs> which apparently were the original names for these guys. <laughs> no wonder everyone said the word rich. You won't know this, but Rishi and his missus are absolutely minted. Did you know the couple's £730 million fortune means they have double that of King Charles? He's twice as rich as the king. It'll be the first prime minister in history at the palace. Like, this place is a shitter. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you've only got four butlers. How do you live like this? <laughs> Place is like a crack den. Oh! <gasps> is that your dealer? <laughs> That's my wife, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if you do want some, some heavy duty stuff, Camilla can get it. <laughs> in fact, we took some the other day. We saw fucking Boris Johnson in a curry, man. <laughs> it's wild. It's mental, isn't it? He's twice as rich as the king. Did you know, this will blow your mind, Rishi has got a £400,000 pool and spa in his weekend home. His weekend home. <laughs> he has different houses for different days of the week. <laughs> and the one he stays in the least has a fucking spa in it! <laughs> What's he got in his actual house? A Baywatch tug rug made of gold? <laughs> Trying to say he's not exactly in touch, as you can tell from this interview from his school days. You know, I have friends who are aristocrats, I have friends who are upper class, I have friends who are, you know, working class, but I'm uh, not working class, but. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not working class, so I don't want to catch poor off them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Chris, he doesn't even know how to do basic things. Rishi Sunak admits someone had to teach him how to use a contactless bank card. Like, how hard is that? <laughs> What was he doing before? Just doing... <laughs> Mind you, mate, if you think that's a cock-up, listen to the music his team chose for his first day in office video. <laughs> and people noticed it sounded very much like this. I'm no expert. <laughs> but if you want to make a good impression, probably not the best idea to use something that sounds a lot like the greatest hits of a kiddie fiddler. <laughs> Do you want to be in my gang? No. no. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if they fixed it by using this? Mind you, whatever people think of Rishi, fair to say, they're certainly glad of one thing. The Prime Minister, Liz Truss, has just resigned. I know, I know, I'm just so happy. And she's resigned now, has she? Oh, she's gone. Great. At last. Oh, <laughs> marvellous. I couldn't wait for her to go. Oh, it's happened. She's gone. Brilliant. <laughs> what do you think? Good. She was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute cat, mate. And yet, unbelievably, she's entitled to 115,000 a year, despite only serving 45 days as PM. She tanked the economy, she broke the housing market, and now she's got an allowance of 115 grand every year for the rest of her life. I did 65 days at Tesco. <laughs> Mate, they wouldn't even let me keep my name badge. <laughs> Which I was gutted about, because this is what I was known as back then. <laughs> The only way Liz could be more unpopular would be if she formed a band with these two. <laughs>